think we got to play a lot better than we did. I mean, just some of the mistakes that we made, especially early in the game in the first half, especially on third down with some critical situations. Uh, I think what you guys saw out there at the end, just getting back into the game, shows um, some of the players we have on our team. It's just tough when you got a guy like Aaron on the other side. You leave him any amount of time. It's you never know what could happen. I mean, the dude did in 36, 37 seconds. You got to tip your hat to him sometimes. Did you feel like you had it? How, how close was that? Yeah, that one, that one stings probably the most, knowing that um, I was that close to, you know, I could have sealed the game on that on that one play. It worked out perfect. Uh, just put it right over Fred's head. Got us kind of down there a little bit. We need one more play. Um, how could he not be romantic about football, man? Shout out to them. You know, they made plays. Uh, Adams made plays. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was being Aaron Rodgers. The game's not over with him at quarterback, um, but I wouldn't say bad feeling. Um, definitely now it's a bad feeling, but like I said, Aaron Rodgers. I think we just didn't get into a rhythm offensively, honestly. Just uh, from the get-go, it was tough, you know, not converting some early third downs. And just uh, the time of possession, I think, was in their favor pretty heavy early on. So, you know, whenever we're doing that, you put your defense in a tough spot as it is. And like I said, we were playing from behind the eight ball. And here goes the rookie around the left side, and then he goes for the touchdown. There is a rhyme reason, but there's no certain situations um, that, that I know that I'm going in or don't. Uh, just just stay ready, just like all the other, you know, tight ends and receivers and running backs that sub in and out of the game. The broadcast showed you meeting Lafleur at midfield. Very quick exchange. Is was that just emotions? Yeah, I think I was just pissed about the game. Ended on the last play and wasn't trying to hang out too long in the middle of the field. Being down 17 nothing to a, a good team like that, prime time, uh, would, would have been a really big win. Um, but you know we're not we're not completely crushed here. It's very early in the season. Um, we showed that we can battle. That it can be 17 nothing against a good team, and we're not going to blink. We should clarify: it was Trey Lance's first career rushing touchdown. Now Garoppolo and Rodgers had comparable numbers. Jimmy completed a couple more passes. Each guy passed for a pair of touchdowns, and Garoppolo had an early interception. The 49er defense sacked Rodgers one time. All right, let's check in with Cam Edmond, who's at the site of the game amid the leaf blowers and the lawnmower in the background. So we apologize to the audience for that. But first of all, Cam, you're just coming out of the auditorium. You're hearing the players' comments. Let me ask you, Jimmy Garoppolo came within 37 seconds of being a hero in a fourth quarter comeback. What say you? He did. I mean, it, it took Kyle Juszczyk crashing across the goal line. It took George Kittle making plays, Debo Samuel making plays. But those are Jimmy Garoppolo's go-to guys. Uh, the 49ers don't have any running backs. I mean, Trey Sermon struggled throughout this game before uh, he scored in the fourth quarter. So a lot of it was on Jimmy Garoppolo to find those targets. The offense was not clicking at all. It's, it's every game at the start of the season, it seems like they've started slow. Whatever script they have, it hasn't worked out. And before they knew it, Jimmy Garoppolo and the offense, they're down 17 to nothing, and they needed Trey Lance to come in and get the ball across the goal line to avoid a first-half shutout. Well, the defense did whatever they could to, to just try and hold them down so the offense could wake up and come back, and it just about happened at the finish. About this defense, I was surprised at the protection that Aaron Rodgers was able yeah. to get. You? Stunned. Uh, I believe they only had one sack from Eric Armstead and Nick Bosa talked about afterwards how, you know, he was getting double teamed and chipped. But even still, Aaron Rodgers often had time on third down passes to go deep and they drew three pass interference penalties that killed the 49ers on those. Uh, and then obviously the end of the game, I mean, just uh, you give him just any inkling of time, he's going to find Devontae Adams. And that's what happens, sets up the winning uh, winning field goal. And it's Aaron Rodgers. This is uh, what he lives for and craves, and it'll be fascinating to see, you know, just what he does next year with the Green Bay Packers, because this is his magic. I don't think the Packers can let him go. Uh, did the players appear as if it was, whoa, what, what just hit us? What, what, what just happened? <laughs> Reaction. That's how I felt writing about four different versions of the story over the last 15 minutes. Uh, every player came in kind of with the same dire, sad, size, cliches, not quite wanting to expose how they really feel, which to me tells me they're really pissed off, as they should be. Uh, Kyle Juszczyk tried to spin it in the most positive way possible, saying they aren't crushed by this. It's a long season, and obviously it is. There's 
14 regular season games remaining. And, and Vern, it really gets going here now. You got Seattle coming in, both teams coming off losses, right? Uh, then you go to the Arizona Cardinals who are off to a 3-0 start. And then you have your bye. And, you know, if they lose one of these next two games and, and say uh, they're only 3-2 and two at that bye, then they got to evaluate the quarterback position again. Because if Trey Lance has only come in for a few snaps, he's got a, one career touchdown run, one career touchdown pass, and only a handful of snaps, well, then you're probably going to have to make, make a move, uh, even though Jimmy Garoppolo showed you what he could do on that last drive and executing the touchdown drive. Uh, when you needed it most, uh, but there's so much else with the offense that was clogged up, and you just kind of wonder how much how much of a leash Jimmy will have. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the narrative will be this week. Hey, Cam, thanks so much for a few minutes. I'll see you at practice on Wednesday. Okay, Vern, sounds good. Thanks.